You see, there was an annoying thing in Pyro simulation. When you operate this simulation, it will look different from the original one. So in Houdini 21, they have a new approach for that. Hi everyone, this is Dyson. Welcome back to this first look series. So without further ado, let's begin. You see, we don't have any Opres uh, node in Neo Pyro. So for example, let's create this cool preset by side effects. This is a Pyro fire explosion preset, you can say. And yeah, let's give it a time to compile or calculate that. And as you can see, this is our simulation, right? How we can oppress this, you see? And this is very cold simulation, to be honest. And yeah, this is our simulation. Now, how we can simply oppress that, right? So in uh, PyroSolver, we don't have any option. And in here, as I mentioned, you see, we don't have anything, yeah. That's the challenge. So first of all, when I was looking for it, so I was confused to be honest. So after that, I searched Opres and I found this ML. This is the node we need, but yeah, this is very confusing. It's need a model, Onyx model. So how we can create that? And this is another catch and I was confused first you see we don't have any model and if, if I connect that nothing happened yeah obviously so let's search again for ml volume opres and let's delete this because you want to see very amazing thing here so let's go opres and let's go with the second option this will create a preset for us and they yeah they describe this method how we can oppress our model you see this is the low th this is the high res one and this is the low res one you see this is the low res one and you see this is the setup you need and let's cache this simulation the high res one and I need that for, yeah, low res one too. And let's give it a time to cache this simulation. As you can see, we have something, but this is not, it's not the same shape. You see that? It's not the same uh, smoke and direction you see this is different one it's okay for this uh, workflow and actually matter of fact this workflow came to fix this problem you see when you operate any simulation you will get different result that's why uh, you can have something like that maintaining the same simulation and you see you can of course create a reference pyro for something like that but and and of course create your uh, voxel size here for more resolution but yeah they create that for us already and yeah we are finished in low res model and as you can see we don't have any onyx model you see this is the node we talk about so it's take the density and take this model and where is the model it's in this directory sorry in this uh, in this node the top node and if we go inside you see where are you you can change this setting epochs and step and you can cook this node but uh, this is the yeah but let me show you what is the setup wow <laughs> The first time I saw that, honestly, <laughs> I freaked out. And this is the core network for uh, creating an Onyx model or machine learning, machine learning node. And that was a lot, honestly. Maybe in the future, I will get deep 
towards this network but having said that after the cache finished you can cook the you, you, you can cook this uh, top network and have your model but in my case to be honest i didn't have that i got a many error i don't know maybe it's me or uh, the version of uh, houdini 21 it's uh, still have a bug and i have decent uh, pc of course with rtx uh, graphic card and yeah with that this is the whole workflow you can test it by your by yourself and yeah leave me a comment if that will work for you or not so with that have a good day and see you in the next one goodbye